Good morning again from Metro Manila, the Philippines, Southeastern Asia. Now in this probably final installment for the time being of my preview of the 2019 Canadian federal elections, I will focus on the behavior of uh, several members of parliament out of 338 several or some tens of members of parliament out of 338 in the Canadian House of Commons which is the Canadian federal parliament's lower more powerful and directly elected chamber while probably most of those 338 elected representatives of the Canadian nation behave themselves for the most part <clears throat> well there is that group of several or some tens of members who for the sake of publicity because those uh, sessions especially the question periods are now broadcast not just on the television but also on the internet and regularly uploaded on on YouTube um, want to show that they are aggressive in attacking the other party so normally it's the governing party in this case the liberals versus the official opposition in this case the conservatives or vice versa I have noticed in a lamentable number of cases that once <coughs> an opposition member of the House of Commons has completed his or her question and a cabinet minister has started to answer there are at least some if not several members shouting on the opposite side of the aisle so that the liberal speaker of the House of Commons often has to get up <coughs> and remind the members of the need to politely be quiet when the other members are speaking and to let them finish without disturbance their remarks. No wonder if at least some Canadian teachers have trouble keeping order in their classrooms during their lessons if uh, those students see how uh, these men and women who are supposed to be more civilized, supposed to be older, more mature and reasonably educated and to represent the Canadians including those students are shouting and talking over each other so this is something that should be changed regardless of what the composition of the House of Commons will be for example after the October 2019 federal elections so yes you can disagree you can <clears throat> be on the opposite poles of an issue but at least you should uh, already for the sake of common politeness and decency not talk over other people and especially you should not shout people there are not deaf people are able to hear especially because uh, they have those microphones or little microphones uh, into which they talk so this is my brief comment now have a nice remainder of the summer.